हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट मैंशुरेशन मैंशुरेशन इज द ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ जियोमेटिकल शेप्स देर एरिया वॉल्यूम एंड रिलेटेड पैरामीटर्स मीन्स वी कैन फाइंड आउट द एरिया वॉल्यूम एंड द पैरीमीटर of different geometrical shape that is called mensuration in this video we are going to study about only the two dimensional figure in my next video i will tell you about area and volume of three dimensional figure so here i will show you these are the different figures about which we are going to study look here first i am going to tell you the name of this two dimensional figures and how we can find the perimeter and area of that figure first you should know what is perimeter means perimeter means the length of the outer boundary of any figure suppose this is 3 cm this is 4 cm and this is 5 cm so the perimeter of this figure will be addition of all this 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 12 so 12 will be the perimeter so perimeter means the outer boundary and area means the inner part you can see i am doing i am doing little light uh, so that you come to do this is the area so first i am telling this is triangle you know everybody know this is a triangle if we want to find the perimeter of this triangle you know perimeter of triangle equals to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 if we want to find the area of this triangle area of triangle means we have to find we cannot directly find here we have to find the height first means the height which is which is also called altitude or height which is always perpendicular so we need height and base in a triangle there are three height you can take height from here also you can try take height from here to here also then this three will become base if you are taking height this way this four will become base if you are high at taking height this then this will become your base so area of triangle equals to half into base multiply with height so you can find there are three heights and three base you can take any height and any base but yes if you are taking this side you have to take the same base only then you can find the area look here this is circle you all know this is circle here perimeter instead of perimeter we call circumference we call circumference circumference means the length of the outer boundary we can find it with the help of uh, 2 pi r or you can say uh, also you can write pi multiply with the diameter the distance from the center to the circle this is called radius and whole distance means a chord passing through the center this whole is called diameter diameter is double of the radius this way you can find out the circumference if you want to find the area of circle It's pi r square. Now this shape you all know it's square. In square, all sides are equal. We call that side as length. This all are two dimensional figures, so one will be length and breadth. But here, every all length will length and breadth will be same. So you take l l l l. So its perimeter will be equal to four multiply with l and area. Length multiply with length, or you can say l square, l into l, or you can write down l square. By this you can find the area. With this you can find the length of the outer boundary. This shape is rectangle. Here length and breadth will be different. But this is length. This opposite sides are equal, so this will be also length, and this will be bre equal to breadth. So perimeter. If you want to find the perimeter of rectangle, it's two multiplied with l plus b. Actually, it came from two length and two breadth, so two they had taken out two two common, so it is two into bracket l plus b. And if you want to find area, 
its length multiply with breadth now this shape is parallelogram i am writing outside because i want to show you something inside it parallelogram in parallelogram directly you can find out the perimeter again you have to add all the sides here also opposite sides are equal so you can give this name anything and this also anything you can give xx x and this yy y. so 2x plus 2y you can say but for finding or you can say directly sum of all the side or 2x and plus 2y similarly you can take 2 common here also as we had taken out but for area here you need height which you don't have height is perpendicular distance from one side to the opposite side as we had find out in uh, triangle so here you, you need height so this will be your height and this will be your base so for finding area of parallelogram you need base into height now the last shape this is rhombus for rhombus perimeter again all sides are equal so this will be l l l or s s s directly you can find out perimeter 4 multiply with the side whatever they had given to you but for area you need diagonals and you will come to tell me sir what is diagonal diagonal means the distance from opposite corners you can say from this to this this is d1 and this is this diagonal is d2 this is d1 and this is d2 so for that you need diagonal 1 and diag both the diagonal you need and the formula is half into diagonal 1 multiply with diagonal so this way you can find out the area of rhombus and perimeter directly 4 into side this is trapezium in trapezium also you need height for uh, perimeter I told you directly you have to add all the sides if you are having all the sides you, you can add and find out means sum of all sides if you are having but for area you need many things these two are parallel you know the property of a uh, trapezium if one of the opposite sides are parallel then you can say that this and that quadrilateral is a parallelogram sorry trapezium this is a trapezium here these two lines are parallel so you have to take uh, this as a and b any parallel lines are given to you that you can take b also here a here no problem in that and then you want height or the distance between these two and that is perpendicular so you need three things a means um, the side of the two parallel side and plus you need height and the formula is half into height into sum of the two parallel sides half into edge into sum of two parallel sides so this way you can find out the area of trapezium now look here this is something different generally i had seen i told you that this way you can find the area but if you want want to find the area of this ring generally i had seen that student what they are doing they just subtract the radius subtracting smaller radius from the bigger radius suppose this whole radius is capital r and this small radius is small r so what they are doing they are subtracting the radius and putting in this formula no we cannot directly find out the area of this ring directly what we have to do we have to first find out area of whole circle this inner part also means in that then we have to find the area of inner part and then we have to subtract from whole you have to subtract this inner part you can make formula also with that means area of ring area of ring what you have to do first you have to find the area of whole circle means pi capital R square then you have to subtract this area of small part means pi small r square you can f take out pi common so it will be pi multiply with r square minus capital R square minus small r square this way you can find the area of ring 
Now here also if you want to find the area of this path you cannot directly find out if it is rectangle or if it is square then you have to first find out the hole then you have to find out the inner part then you have to subtract this inner part from the whole part this way you can find out this video is so important for IBPS PO class 8, 9, 10 so thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos for you thank you so much